Welcome back to Forensics Detailing Channel. We are trying to pull out some dinks in our paintwork. Uh, God knows how they got in here. But you can probably see there as I move the camera, the dink. Yeah? Um, it's actually got a line that runs that way. So something's come down and hit that. There's another one over there. And it's just going to take time and persistence to get them out. And if they're big, don't even bother trying. But with very small dinks, you might have some success. These Chinese kits that you can buy on eBay are very, very good. If you have access to the dink, so you can, you know, if you can, you want to use this puller. So this puller is ideal for this. You can't always use the puller. If like, you had the dink there, you know, it's not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to set it down on edges. So then you can use the slide hammer, which is a bit more, a bit more kind of aggressive. You can also pull them by hand. Um, you can also tap around, you can also tap around the dinks because it's kind of under pressure. Um, so you've actually got, if you look very carefully, you, you, know, you probably, you can't see what I'm seeing. So let me just try and show you with this rubbish GoPro. But just to the left here, it's raised up ever so slightly. And there. So I would tap there and there with this non-marring tool just to try and loosen it off a little bit before you pull it. We also have the, we also have this off the roof lining, so we are in a great position to tap underneath. But you don't really want to you you don't really want to tap this up, so pulling it is the best way um, to just get it level. So I'm going to just do a few pulls. Um, the first pull as well, I want to pull. There's a slight valley in there, so I want to use a tiny bit of glue. So I've got my glue gun over here. I've panel wiped it down first and I'm just going to put a strip of glue across a small tag and um, try and pull up, pull along the actual valley of it. And I'm not an expert at this by the way, but oh, oh no, okay, it's dribbling. <laughs> okay, good. didn't dry must be because it's roasting hot normally you only have to wait about 20 seconds and it's good to pull That bit longer. If I don't put a bit of paper down over here, I'm going to make a mess.
What is this messy shit? Right. Let's bring the camera over. That's better. It's improved already. The first one. Don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's a lot better. It's, it's a lot better, that is. I think we might even be like five or six pulls and this might be okay. Depends actually, okay. It always depends. We use exactly the same size, just do the same thing again. It's really hot. These little tabs are taking longer to dry. Normally you can pull them after about 10, 20 seconds, but it's so hot in here. <sighs> Just leave that. <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is not a professional thing as well. This is like a career that you can spend a lifetime gaining skills, but I have a basic method that is to just go gentle and just keep going and going again, 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 till you get it where you want to, rather than going banzai mode on it. And that's my only real tactics and a little tap at the start. Um, feel free to chirp in with some uh, advice in the comments, but I think we are going to get these out. There's another one over there that we're going to get out as well. Okay, it should just pop. Here you go. Yeah, good. This is the only thing I don't have, is all of the different tabs. I, I don't have a limited amount. And I don't know what all these different tab patterns do, but these round ball ones don't seem as strong as the ones with the, the circles and the fins. Let's just let that sit. Let me give it another 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. It's 
coming out. It's coming out. She just keep going. That's coming out. Okay. Just need to dry that off. Can you see? Right, what I'm going to do, try slightly bigger. something I put the black glue in the in the gun <laughs> I put the black glue I was wondering why the glue was coming out white it's just the the old glue that was left in there now it's starting to come out black so it should hopefully get oh, let's just let that settle oh. wasn't a good pull <laughs> but actually maybe it was holy shit okay there's hardly anything left now you can probably just about see it there that almost just need to keep going it's easy to Let's just keep going, just keep going. I was going to give up there because I was going to say that is that is about 90% there. Before there was a big distortion in the light and a big divot. And now you're really going to struggle to see that. Um, just going to do one more. to really position it so there's no line this time because the dent is virtually gone I'm not pulling in the bottom of the valley anymore um, I just want to let this give this a good good amount of drying time what's that funny noise it's just, oh. while that's drying I'll show you the other one I'm going to be doing next you see where is it? You see it there? Look at that. Uh, there it is. Uh, just looking at it, I'm just going to look at it. That's an even easier one. That runs, it's even easier that one, I think. Yeah, we should be able to get that one out as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
has a good nose. Tell you what, oh man, that is good enough. Right, just bear with me a second. Okay guys, so I'm going to end it there. If you have a look at this, where's our four markers? So where the dink is somewhere in here. I'm just going to find it in my eyes. So I can see it. There's a bit of distortion of light, but you can't see it on the camera till I move the light across the bent bit. But Jesus, you're going to struggle even with this. You're going to struggle to see it even on the camera. Just you can see a little bit of distortion. Where is it? There, look. Um, so it's been a success this first one we've got four more to do and you can carry on uh, and guys I want to emphasize that I am an amateur doing this and this is not intended as a guide because it's a proper skill this is and the amount of tools that you need and you can get it to this stage and a professional will be able to take it a little bit further than I can. In fact, from this angle, I can still see it and want to work it a little bit more. But the basic advice I can give is if you've got a tiny little little dimple type ding um, and the paint's intact, these puller kits can be very useful, um, especially this one, and try and find the line of the dink because it's never usually a perfect prod with something straight. It's usually something long that's hit it try and put your glue and your first small um, tag and try and put the glue on the tag that matches the line of the dim of the dent and then put it in there so you're actually literally pulling on that line and keep doing that for a little while until you bring it up and it starts improving and then use a bigger tab until you think you've got it really flat and then you can maybe go back to one of these and just put um, a, you know a dollop all over and then pull it up after each pull it should pop you know it should, it should get under pressure under pressure and pop um, after each pull then wipe down with IPA take all of the um, glue off wipe down and go again and before you do your first pull tap around the edges of the dink um, just tap gently around the edges with the, the hammer and this tool um, because that dink the energy has got to go somewhere um so it's kind of under it's compressed and tapping it just frees it up so i'm told so that is kind of a cool thing to do at home guys and the kit you can get on amazon for not a lot of money these are the things that will prep perhaps if you try and if it's a massive dent don't even bother trying really but little dimples you can get out bigger dents if they're sort of just light ripples you can have a go at you shouldn't really be breaking these too much you'd have to be really pulling on, on them to break do not allow the glue to sit there and dry for more than 20 or 30 seconds and if it's really ridiculous and it's not popping you might be pulling too hard and on very old delicate paintworks you can even rip the paint off so you need to be a little bit careful um hope that was useful let me know your tips of how to do this in the comments as i say i have limited skills limited knowledge like everything but um you know i can get some results so uh, uh, i hope this was helpful thanks for watching see you soon okay guys and this one on the other side this one i can't even see it now it's there 
So if I bring that light across, it's there, but you can't even see it. That's after two pulls. That one just came out really, really easily. That is just, that doesn't need any more work. It's there, but it's it's almost as no more noticeable than the orange peel. Um, that's phenomenal. That's gone really, really well. And I've got two down here to do. This first one still needs more work. This first one's a bit of a bit of a pain. I just thought I'd show that second one there. That needs more work. You see the distortion, but it's changed now from being like a divot at the start. I'm not sure how much better I can make it. I think it does actually need another pull. I think it needs a big pull, like a big, a big one. Let's do that. Okay, guys, I'll uh, I'll leave you to it.